The American people have spoken and Donald J. Trump was elected as the 45th president of the United States of America. Change was clearly demanded and that is exactly what we're going to have. Now, whether you go one direction or the other direction, it really doesn't matter. It was a shock for many, especially here on the West Coast, where we have not experienced the loss of U.S. manufacturing or lack of wage growth. So what does this mean for the housing market? First, we should all take a deep breath. The U.S. equity markets have calmed as the meaning of a Trump presidency unfolds as we get to see what it's all about. As for the housing market, it's really too early to make any predictions as we watch the market. Trump ran on a platform of deregulation, and this could bode well for real estate. It might allow banks the freedom to lend more, which in turn could further energize the market as more buyers may qualify for home loans. The concerns over rising interest rates may be overstated, we don't know for sure, and watching the bond market is going to be prudent. Infrastructure spending, if it comes to light, could boost employment and wages, which would also be a positive for the housing markets because jobs equal housing. The proposed easing of land use regulations may begin addressing the problem of housing affordability, which is a huge issue in California housing markets and others on the West Coast. In the near term, we may see some temporary upheaval, including in the housing market, as the Trump presidency takes shape. But for right now, there isn't any need for panic in the housing sector. It's looking pretty positive. So now for minding your own business. When it comes to real estate marketing, stay as local as possible, whether you're using social media, blogging, sending out postcards, posting videos, or targeted ad campaigns. Keep it close to home. This is called niche marketing, and it does two things for your business. Number one, it makes you seem like the local expert in the real estate market. People now are looking for specialists that they can trust. They want you to know everything about everything in the neighborhood they're purchasing in, Number two, it's easier for you to dominate your local market. Once you get one listing in a neighborhood and use that leverage, it's getting much easier to get the second listing and so on and so on. Niche marketing isn't just about staying local. It really means specializing in one thing, whether it's a particular neighborhood, representing first time home buyers, selling vineyard properties, especially in the condo world, or well, you get the idea, anything that you're interested in where there's a market, it's a good thing to do. Find your niche and market until you dominate, then spread your wings because you own it and you'll see the leads coming in. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week. It's going to be a big week and have a great day.